your happiness hurts the narcissist. The narcissist is in a constant state of unhappiness and dissatisfaction. The grass is always greener on the other side to them. They always want what other people have. They always feel empty inside, which is why they constantly need people to attend to them and validate them. When they are in the presence of a person who is happy and satisfied, they can quickly detect or identify this. They can feel that positive vibe or energy. When you have reached a certain point in the healing process, the narcissist can quickly detect or identify this. They can feel it without conscious thought, as if by natural instinct. They can feel your happiness your satisfaction with life. They can sense when you have healed and moved on from them. Your energy tells them so much about you without you even having to say a word. They can tell if you are still sad and depressed like they are or if you have moved on and you are happy. They can instantly detect or identify a person's vibe or energy. They can sense when a person is happy and satisfied. These are the types of people that they feel drawn to. They go to these types of people to drain them of their energy and resources. When you are going through the healing process and the narcissist is around you and able to detect or identify how you are feeling and able to sense your energy, they are able to detect if you experience sadness or misery. And this sadness or misery is something they feed off of because it gives them satisfaction They always want you to be in a state or condition where you are going through something painful or emotionally distressing. Where you are missing them or you feel betrayed by them. This is giving them satisfaction. It's feeding their ego. It boosts their self-esteem and their self-importance. It makes them feel as though they exist. As though they are something that has a significant effect on you or your life. As though they are something important. They love this feeling and they will do whatever it takes to get it. They know how you are feeling even when they're not around you. And when you're speaking to them on the phone, they can hear the pain and distress in your voice. You can try to hide it and act as though you are happy and satisfied, but they can sense these things. They know exactly how you are feeling. They have a predatory sense or perception where they can detect and locate where you are in the mind and where you are in your emotions via sensory signals, which is a hint, clue or indicator 
given by your behavior or reaction to something they've said or done, the environment or surroundings. They have a predatory sense or perception which can pick up on that. It's like how the scent of blood can attract predatory animals. They can sense that you are hurt. They can sense that you are in pain. And this is what draws them to you to feed off those emotions. It makes them feel as though they exist and as though they are something significant or important. It regulates their emotions and boosts their self-esteem and their self-importance. Narcissists are constantly in a state of emotional survival where they are trying to survive emotionally through emotional regulation. This is a survival mechanism where their perception has adapted to the most efficient way of fulfilling their primal needs. They have the ability to pick up on how you are thinking and how you are feeling. They can tell when you are still in pain or distress over something they have said or done. They can tell when you're not happy. They can tell when you're dissatisfied. It gives them a feeling of great pleasure and happiness when they know that you're still miserable. When you begin to heal and process everything that happened to you, and you begin to understand why they did what they did and it starts to make sense to you you begin to understand who they are what they're about and what they stand for when you begin to realize and accept this surprising and previously unknown truth of what kind of person you were dealing with it begins to disconnect or detach you from them. It begins to break the connection or the attachment between you and them. You no longer feel connected or attached to them. You begin to heal from the pain and distress that they caused you. You begin to realize and understand what you went through and who you were dealing with. And the narcissist feels the disconnection or the, dis the detachment. They can sense that you have disconnected or detached from them. When they sense this, they experience intense sorrow, misery, sadness, agony, torment because you're no longer connected or attached to them you're no longer a part of their sadness or misery you're no longer a part of their negative energy it reduces your anxiety you no longer desire to be around them and they notice this. They can tell that you're no longer thinking about them. And they immediately experience feelings of loss, misery, sadness. You can say that, that you're happy or that you've moved on. You can act as though that is how you feel. But your energy needs to emit these feelings of happiness and positivity. When you're radiating with positive energy, they can instantly pick up on that. 
It's not your words, facial expressions or body gestures. It's your energy that reveals your emotions and tells them how you feel. When they feel your happiness and contentment, they immediately experience feelings of loss, misery and sadness. They hate positivity. They hate peace, love, joy and happiness. They hate any form of functionality. They want to destroy it. They want to take it away. They prefer to be around dysfunctional people, dysfunctional environments, people who aren't happy or contented. Because anyone or anything that they're around, they infect it and it damages anything natural or pure about it. They pollute em environments and people with their misery and dissatisfaction. They know when you have healed from the pain and distress that they have caused. And this is often when they will come back and hoover you to rob you of the qualities, energy and resources which makes you who you are. When they sense your feelings of happiness and contentment, it hurts them. When they come around you, their goal is to take away your feelings of happiness and contentment. That's what they're envious of. Because it's something they don't have. And it's something that they will never experience. Because they can never be satisfied. They cannot emotionally survive or sustain themselves around people who are happy or contented. They have to take away their happiness and contentment to be around them. When they target these types of people, their goal is to destroy their feelings of happiness and contentment. They hate functionality. They hate anything positive. They want to destroy anything that has to do with peace, love, joy or happiness. They cannot experience or reflect back these high vibrational emotions. Narcissists are low frequency beings. They are shame based individuals. Shame is the lowest emotional vibrational frequency. All they can do is give you an orchestration or an image of love, which is whatever they think you want to see, what you might consider as being love, but it's never real. They do this by robbing you of your qualities, energy and resources and just reflecting them back to you appealing to your own ideals, mirroring whatever you're into, whatever you're about. Everything you give or put into them dissipates. It gets lost and never comes back. You never see a return on anything that you've invested in them, whether it's your time, energy or money. The narcissist is like a black hole. They suck everything out of you, which sustains them or regulates them emotionally for a moment. But once they've used that up and use whatever it was to replenish them, it's gone. You will never see it again. And you're left with nothing, having to start over again. That's why you feel so drained and lifeless when you're finally done dealing with them. They have robbed you of your qualities, energy and resources. Everything that is meant to replenish you and keep you going. 
They rob you of that and use it for their own selfish needs. When you begin to heal and process everything that happened to you and you no longer blame yourself, you believe in yourself, you love yourself, when you realize that you are a person of value and you feel happiness and contentment, it hurts them. They hate it. They can't stand it. They feel so envious and jealous. That's why they want to make everyone miserable and dissatisfied, just like them. Because they will never be able to consistently sustain that feeling of happiness. And they expected you to break down and be miserable without them. But through these difficult times, you have become stronger. You have gained knowledge and, 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 and understanding. And you did it all without them. You're happy without them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries can email me at narcsfavorcoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcsfavor store where you can purchase your own Narcsfavor t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.